So item A to A, um, we received a memorandum from LAFCO um, kind of outlining the process for what they consider a merger. Um, this w wasn't uh, instituted at our request, but um, we did receive the memorandum and it's uh, created quite a uh, considerable amount of uh, public interest. Um, so a merger would be, and the discussion would be, should OCSD uh, merge with the city of uh, Grover Beach? And basically... No. 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 <laughs> and become part of, of the city. Now that, that would... Um, not just affect the city of Grover Beach and OCSD, but it would also affect the county. In fact, uh, the county would have most services transferred from the county to the city of Grover Beach. Roads, curb gutter and sidewalk, police, flood control, drainage, um, planning and building, all of those services would transfer from um, the county to uh, the city of Grover Beach as well uh, in such a merger. So we just put this on the agenda to try to get your board's um, feeling on whether we should put any resources or money towards this effort. Uh, and, and I think a lot of the comments and uh, whether they were made by our new supervisor, I, looks like some of them were from him. They're rude, unwarranted, belittle Oceano. Anyways, um, I, I do support further study, and uh, I'm not going to be lengthy about this. Uh, I think a comprehensive study, uh, it's not happening this week. It's not something that's going to happen this month, this year, next year. Study it. We might find that. Might, we might find. Do you have a gavel, Ms. President? Can, you, can we please be respectful and just listen? It's just public comment. Please. It is my time. I don't want to use it. It is my time. It is her time. So you will have another extra 15 seconds. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. Uh, we might find out that it's a win-win. We might find out that it's a lose-lose. We might find out that it's a win-lose. We don't know. There are too many questions too many things to be considered to make any definitive decision right now. Hi, my name is Gina. I'm an Oceana resident. Um, today and a few days I've been out walking the streets, driving around, talking to people about this idea for this annexation that came from Paulding here. This is our new representative, Oceana. I'm going to talk next. <laughs> so, <laughs> So we were around, and I'm all, a lot of the businesses I talked to had no idea this was happening. A lot of the residents had no idea this was happening. And here you talk about studies. Who's going to pay for the study? What does the study mean? What happens after the study? Why are we having a study if the residents of Oceano don't want it? I mean, do we really have a voice if they're just going to move on to a study and just keep doing studies, throwing money at it, throwing money at it until we don't have a word? to say? I might as well just start there and uh, follow up. I'll, I'll talk if you guys promise not to throw tomatoes. Fair enough? Okay. <laughs> Strawberries would be better. Yeah. Um, first, I'd like to introduce myself. Um, I'm Supervisor Jimmy Paulding. I did grow up in this community on the border of uh, Oceano and Aurora Grande, off of the Pike. Went to North O before it was Fairgrove. I am doing this job because Can I do love this community quiet? and because I want to Can serve this community. Um, some of the background on this particular discussion um, I think is important and that is some of the issues that we've been dealing with. We saw the January storm, the February storm, the March storm uh, impact the community with uh, flooding and evacuation orders. Uh, we have a big uh, group in the community who has been fighting for safe routes to school. They want sidewalks. I'm not sure if everybody here in this room does or everybody listening at home does. Um, and so those were things that were prompting this discussion. How do we, as a county, provide these services that, I believe, Oceano desperately needs and wants? 
Um, and that, it, you know, in the context of this recent discussion about the Five Cities Fire Authority, where, um, you know, this board here has sought divestiture from um, or through the LAFCO process to, to pay for fire service. And so we have to figure out how to solve that as well. So the idea was, let's start talking about options. And one of the options was, well, maybe we should study this merger concept. Well, I'm glad that it got all of you here <laughs> to share your opinion because we're having a conversation and that was the intent. So for those that have stated that there's some hidden agenda, there's no hidden agenda. There's just one person who grew up here who loves this community who is literally trying to solve problems because that's my job. It's pretty clear what the overwhelming sentiment is here in this room. It's also very clear that Oceano has some community pride and I, I acknowledge that and I appreciate that and that no matter what happens that the identity, the unique identity and heritage uh, and the community, the sense of community here is palpable and needs to be preserved so, no matter what. So with that I'll just end my comments and I also want to say anybody feel free to reach out to me. I'm here. I am your rep representative whether you like it or not and I want to serve this community. That is my agenda. Thank you. So I want to start by pointing out that Supervisor Paulding has not been elected by Oceano or Grover Beach, and we probably won't be able to vote in the next election. So three months into his first term, Supervisor Paulding decides to help Oceano by suggesting the annexation of Oceano to Grover Beach. and that that will be a solution, solution for our fire service problems. Okay. It is not a solution because Grover Beach will have to place a parcel tax on the ballot to, to cover their own fire service. And I would sure like to know how Grover Beach is going to solve flooding problems here. Tonight, the question before us the question before us is if we're going to give direction to Mr. Clemens to have a conversation with Grover Beach and with the county about what would, this is my turn, to simply gather some more information. There are large numbers of people, the 7,248 people that live in Oceano right now. There are a large number of them who would like to have more information. It concerns me that there is a... Could I have quiet, please? That the, the notion that, no, you can't even talk about it is of concern to me because what I've heard here tonight are a lot of opinions and very few facts, in part because we don't really have the facts. We are powerful here in Oceano. I don't think this community has ever been stronger. It's, never, uh, it's obviously full of pride. With that pride, with that strength, we should not be afraid of getting a little more information. It doesn't cost anything to send Mr. Clemens to talk with Matt Bronson and uh, Mr. Fitzroy at LAFCO to say, well, you know, what would it cost to, to gather more information? We don't have to do anything with that information after we get it. You, I think, you have the LAFCO process. You, we get, Oceano would get a vote, but that's way down the line. I would ask you to just be more secure in your identity and strength and commitment to this community. But how, how possibly could Grover Beach take us over? We're Oceano. We have our identity. I don't have an opinion about what is the right way to go with this. I know that in my, uh, I, I know that in my work with the county, I have been frustrated over and over and over. I spent 2022 writing a $21 million grant proposal to the Active Transportation uh, Program in the State of California Department of Tr Transportation to get a infrastructure of safe, safe routes to schools in our community. 
I worked for a year on it with SLOCOG, the Council of Governments, and with the Lucia Mar School District. Before we started that, we went to the county and said, if we bring you a, 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 a grant proposal with a fully engineered cost estimate um, to, and this is, we're not asking the county for money. We say, well, we're going to go get $21 million and bring it to the table. Will you support us? The county said, yeah, we'll support you. So I put a year of my, li of my life into that. 20 days before the grant application was due to the state, the county says, no, we're not going to support you. Pull the rug right out from underneath us. Okay, that's, you know, we don't have the information on that. I don't think O'Roy Grandy wants to do it. Um, no. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, it's my turn. My turn. I just want to clear up, there was a comment about nothing is, the county's never done anything in Oceano. And um, I have $900,000 was spent the, and a couple of years ago, um, Safe Routes to School project included um, improved curbs, gutters, and sidewalks up around the school, and there's still talks about doing that. That's been done. There was um, 3.1 million in road pavement projects. I think you remember, like Paso Robles Street. 6.8 million went into the, fixing Highway 1 and 13th Street down here, with well, you know the famous lake. And so, I mean, <laughs> Oceana has not been completely neglected. Of course, we'd love to have more, and of course, you know, hopefully we can. Um, the waterway management program at the strengthening in the levees, that was a lot of money there. We got in the new, the new air park bridge. So anyway, this was all things that were done and we always hear digs at Supervisor Compton. At, I don't know why it, people can't just let it go, but these were things that were done during her time as supervisor for Oceano. Do I have a motion? Yeah, I'd like to move that we direct uh, the general manager to meet with the other principals uh, in this uh, topic and uh, discuss, uh, begin a discussion of what the potential scope and cost of doing a phase one minimal assessment of the major sorts of financial issues and taxing issues um, and uh, that would be entailed in a possible merger and to bring that back to the board for further discussion. I'll second that. Director Varney. Are we, is there, is, oh, I got a second. Is there any from more to discussion or what? No? She seconded the motion. Okay. Aye. Director Joyce Sennison? Aye. Director Austin? No. Vice President Gibson? No. President Via? No. And I want the. No. <laughs>